Have you ever done this with a quarter? If you did, you were not only having fun and entertaining yourself, you were actually conducting a scientific, math-based experiment based on the works of Leonhard Euler, a, who in the 1700s was a Swiss mathematician who made all kinds of calculations, many of which hundreds of years later were used to... Uh, Prove and improve some pretty amazing products that you use to this day, like uh, the seatbelt in your car and things like that. Anyway, when you make a uh, calculation based on math, you do not have to take reality into account. You can calculate something as if you lived in a perfect environment. Take that quarter spinning you just saw a few moments ago. It was affected by gravity, friction, and movement, all of which slowed it down much faster than it would have slowed down in a perfect environment. Now, living in the kind of world we live in, uh, gravity's never going to go away, uh, friction's never going to go away, and... Well, I don't know, some will argue this point, but movement will never go away. In 1987, a aerospace engineer out in California by the name of Joseph Benick thought to himself, you know, if you were to seriously look at old Uhler's principles and build something that spun like a quarter, but you designed it to defeat gravity, friction, and motion as much as possible, what would happen? Well, old Joe went ahead and built himself a thing called Euler's Disc. Now you're going to see something you will probably find hard to believe. The basis of Joe's uh, Euler disc is what you're looking at right here, which is a concave mirror. This mirror is dipped down in the center. The center is shallower than the ridges are. So when the disc spins, it will stay more in one position. So it won't waste energy down with friction and grabbing gravity, robbing it of its momentum. Secondly... Whoop. Joe came up with a disc specifically designed for this experiment. It's a heavy uh, stainless steel chrome type disc, sort of like the disc you would use in a shuffleboard game. For entertainment value, he put some of the hologramish type mylar on the top to help create an interesting illusion as the disc spins. Now, if you remember back to me spinning that quarter, I had to give it a good thump with my finger to get it spinning. This disc system has eliminated so much of the friction and gravity and movement dilemma that all I need to do is set it off center and slightly twist it. Now, watch this as this disc spins totally under its own power and nothing else.
app. Pretty cool, huh? Uler, it sounds like a U, but it's E U L E R, apostrophe S, Uler's disc, can still be found around, and you might want to check it out. If you want to prove to yourself and your friends how great the human mind can be when it's allowed to be. What? Math and science cool? How can that be? It doesn't come in a box, or does it?